The thrill of discovering India in the heart of Europe is so heady, its spell is phenomenal. When my feet touched Indian soil, the spices, the colors. Big fascination with India. Of course, Shah Rukh Khan. on how and then, puff. Lecha, lecha. Na, 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 lecha, lecha. Idam tu te guyata man, pravaksha mena suyale. Sur ko pavitra samasthe. Hanuman, I like very much. Everybody can be a Sita or Rama today. The source of spirituality for me. The beautiful girl, you know, your face is like the moon. Definitely Arundhati Roy. Rajmohan Gandhi. It's a very special place. Bande Mataram. It's more than just a country. For me, for us, Mary Jan. It is in Vienna, the city of music, that we began our search for India. And fittingly, Mumbai's Bollywood was expressing itself here in the only way it can. The craze for Shah Rukh is unimaginable. Over the last few years, there has been an amazing rise in the popularity of Bollywood music and dance, which is now seen as a separate genre. For me, Bollywood wasn't not only dance. It was a new culture, a new point of view, new music. I think that that's the point. In Barcelona, many a ballerina is busy connecting the origins of European gypsies to India. Anecdotes fill gaps in our understanding of why flamenco, the Spanish dance form, is so similar to Indian dance styles. So whenever you ask somebody from the gypsy community in the south of Spain, they, they tell you they come from India. Okay, there is a whole historical uh, research about that, you know, how, they, how the gypsies came from maybe Rajasthan and they end up in Spain. Gypsies in Rajasthan feel the same, have, has the same approach to music like I do, like my people do. It's hard to explain, really hard to explain, but we hear a melody and we, we can play along. I was very impressed by the fact that India still has a connection between religion and dance, which uh, in a way we have lost long, uh, long back. You have theatre, you have drama, you have dance, you have spiritual, you have uh, expression, emotion, but also the movement, the joy, the rhythm, is everything in one art form. I think life is made of the components that are in Bharatanatyam. Odissi, in a way, it's my yoga, and I cannot conceive dance without yoga. Indian culture is increasingly visible in Europe through yoga, Ayurveda, and practice of Hindu religion. More and more people are practicing yoga here as an alternate lifestyle to stay healthy. India has taught the world many, many things, but I think yoga it teach the best way to, la to live. Through yoga and through the techniques, through the meditation, I can enjoy every moment in my life more and more. Europe is discovering Indian literature and new writing. Enthusiasm is visible amongst bookworms as they race to read Indian authors that have been translated in their own language. It's also bringing uh, something that French literature lacks, which is a very, very strong tradition of storytelling. Ancient Indian scriptures too are also enjoying a revival. I began to introduce uh, the plot of the Ramayana and that story. So the people then knew uh, a bit about it and then became interested. Sami mimes India into the hearts of his audience. Drawing inspiration from Kathakali, the Indian dance form that creatively uses facial expressions, he manages to lend a distinct uniqueness to his performance. When I took classes in the Kathakali, you know, uh, telling the, 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 the stories with the eyes, the perfect a control of each movement and each, each movement has to have some uh, meaning. It's not just doing for doing. It's very difficult to speak for your heart. You know, when your heart is connection, you don't need reasons. You're just there 
मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि भारत मेरा देश है दिल का देश है मेरा जन्म यहाँ हुआ है लेकिन आ, मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि भारत मेरा देश है If love between the people of Europe and India is so intense, can the relationship of the two powers be far behind? To make it an affair to remember, all that needs to be done now is to heed the advice of a well-known Urdu poet who once advised all lovers to be patient. This is only the beginning, my love. Why the fuss? Wait for the future and see what this relationship does.